We have the latest on RNWF Renewal Fuels Inc. together with Kepler Fusion Technologies Inc. announced the publication and availability of independent research coverage by Harbinger Research evaluating Kepler's proprietary Texatron Aneutronic Fusion Platform, commercialization strategy, and long-term deployment roadmap. Quote, this independent research coverage represents an important milestone for Kepler as we continue to build institutional awareness and third-party validation around our technology and commercial model. That's according to Brent Nelson, Chief Executive Officer of Kepler Fusion Technologies. The report reflects the progress we've made toward developing a scalable, infrastructure-grade fusion energy platform designed for real-world deployment rather than experimental demonstration." Unquote. The Harbinger Research Report provides an independent third-party assessment of Kepler's fusion architecture, intellectual property portfolio, and power-as-a-service commercialization strategy. The analysis addresses Kepler's modular distributed approach to fusion energy deployment and evaluates the company's position within industrial, data center, defense, critical infrastructure, and grid-constrained energy markets. The report further distinguishes Kepler's platform from fusion programs that remain primarily research-oriented, highlighting the companies focus on infrastructure grade deployment, long duration baseload power delivery, and recurring revenue generation through long term contractual agreements. Looking ahead to the first quarter of 2026, the company expects to advance a number of key initiatives, including continued progress toward completion of its audit process and the filing of a Form 10. The company also anticipates ongoing intellectual property development activity, including multiple patent filings related to Kepler's fusion platform and supporting systems, as well as updates on the status of pending commercial contracts as milestones are achieved. Again, the link to the Harbinger Research Report is in our description below. Check it out. I'm Dave Donlin for Stock Investor Daily.